All right, here we are on Rocky Neck with Lindsey Krauss and Rick Blue. This is our third year, but this is a, we have a new addition this year, Lindsey. It's usually just you and I and I Stacey Fisher. I know. We got now. We got the now you're now you're really slumming. Slumming. I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say A team, but you know, good for Stacey. You know, all right. Well, that's good for you. But we're gonna talk about the summer retreat. Yes, sir. Very exciting. It's coming up, and uh, there's a there's a few changes this year. Is that right? Well, there's always changes. Everything changes. It's a principle of Buddhism. There you go. <laughs> this year is our eighth year, though. It's pretty extraordinary, I think, that we've had this kind of record. We um, are doing it from the 7th to the 12th this year the sixth, of August. Actually, yeah. The 6th is the public teaching. It's at uh, Governor's Academy, uh, about five miles south of Newburyport, here in Massachusetts. and. Um, the sixth is a Monday night. That's a public teaching by Lama Marut, who is the sort of spiritual head of the retreat. And um, this year's title is very evocative. It's called Diamonds, Hearts, and Wild Cards, Shoot the Moon, which is a... Shoot the Moon is an expression from the game of hearts. And when you play hearts, you want to avoid getting the hearts. The hearts are the bad things you want to avoid. But at a certain point, if you have so many hearts and you just can't get rid of them, you can do what is known as shoot the moon. And then you reverse it. And you try to get all the hearts, every single one. And the win is very, very big. So you can explain the metaphor. <laughs> Thank you. No, it's, it's, so it's either, and then when I was learning to play hearts, of course, I tried to shoot the moon all the time, and I'd always end up one short. Um, you need the queen of spades, right, and all the hearts. Um, and the concept is um, that you're going to go for it all, that, that, uh, that the life you get presented with is an opportunity not just to constantly play it safe, but to learn how to develop the tools to go for it all. And of course, going for it all means really how to become a really, I think, a useful person and a happy person and find out how to generate it. Uh, because I think we're, we all get caught up in the trappings of trying to accumulate things. If, I, if only I had this job, if only I had this car, if only I you know, could trade this in or trade that in. You know, Lindsay, if only I could trade in Rick. Trade or, me you know. in. Uh, and of course, we find out it's not out there. So he will reveal the secrets. I don't want to tip the whole thing, right? But he talks about, you know, where that comes from. And of course, it comes from inside. And it comes from doing things for other people. And, uh, and it's a very sweet teaching. And his public talk the night before, which is, at, which is also at the Governor's Academy, they're amazing there. They open up a beautiful public theater that they have a 500-seat theater, and it was almost full last year uh, for a talk the night before. So it's one-stop shopping. You can go to the public talk, uh, and then you can roll right into the summer uh -huh. retreat. We, we'll register you right there. Um, but the talk's called Euphobia, and he talks about why, you know, the fear we have of being happy. You know, it's kind of like in that relationship where all of a sudden, you know, people will say, everything's going really good. Uh-oh, something's wrong. Yeah, right. You know, I better shoot myself in the foot. Yeah. And so we have these patterns. And I think the, the beauty of the way he teaches is a very relatable way to unravel the patterns we constantly use and we're shooting ourselves in the foot. Yeah. These are basic uh, concepts but to, to you guys, but for a lot of like people that haven't discovered Buddhism and, and these teachings by Lama Marut, who... We're going to back up for people that may not have seen our previous interviews. This is a, a man who is like, just, he would look like, you know, Rick, very laid back. He's not wearing his, his robe and, he, and he's a, like a Western civilization guy that drives a Harley. And he teaches on very uh, understandable levels. This is not something that, uh, that's very difficult to understand. And, it, and, and immediately, just in my case, the, the few things that I, that I, I learned from him in practice, it all just really makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And happiness is really the root of it, isn't it? Yeah, it absolutely yeah. is. You know, um, first of all, I, I just want to say before we go on that if you want to find out more information about the retreat, you go to the summerretreat.org. And you have to put those two R's in the middle, the summerretreat.org. And hopefully we answer all your questions on the website. And if not, you can email us or call us. You can talk to me, talk to Rick, whatever. About or Joey it. will just hunt us down. Yes. Joey, Joey will we find will, us. We will do that. <laughs> we just don't lose them on Joey. So he's <laughs> looking really pleased by the No problem. No problem. We can do that. Yeah. I always try to think what is the main thing to say. And I think, for me, it, it, this retreat is not about Buddhism. It's, it's not about religion. 
this retreat is about happiness and how to be happy. And you know, we've all got a million self-help books on our shelves, and I always say, self-help doesn't work, otherwise there wouldn't be new self-help books, right? <laughs> There'd be, There'd one, be one definitive, right? Yeah. <laughs> one and definitive. Self -help ourselves. Right. But we haven't been able to do that. So we need help. But the help that we need is to understand that the source of our happiness is to help somebody else. And that's the crux of the matter. Um, Lamarut happens to be armed and dangerous with some amazing ideas that came out of Tibet. And they're unique in the world. And I think that's an extraordinary thing to say. It's exciting to learn something new. And these are new ideas. So they aren't, you know, from the books that you've got on the shelf a million times or the magazines or whatever, or CNN. They're new. And you'll learn something new, and you'll learn something new that will stay with you. And uh, people who have gone to the retreat and come back year after year after year find that these ideas um, have changed their lives, truly changed their lives in ways that we want to change our lives. Mm. Every single person that I've ever spoken to that's gone to one it goes back and yeah. goes back and goes back. Yeah. I mean, they, and these are people that have, you know, just curious. And once they discover it, it's something that they just grasp onto and hold onto and, and, and relish and we, cherish. When we started it, we, we weren't sure because we said well, we'd love to share our teacher and we, we and this beautiful place we live. And we didn't know whether what kind of traction it would have. And I was thinking the other night, that exact thing, it's eight years now. How do we, how, and it grows every year. And it's because it's helping people. Yeah. It, you know, uh, it's working. Yeah. And I think it also uh, works on a level that it's not, People also look forward to not just having a lot of ideas jammed into their head, but the Governor's Academy is a beautiful, sprawling campus up near the Parker Wildlife Refuge in the river. And it's a place to, like, as Lama Marut says, chillack. <laughs> Chill out and relax. There you go. But there's a Tibetan teacher once that didn't know how to say relax. He'd say, relax, relax. <laughs> so we kind of morphed it into chillax. I like the term, chillax. Mm -hmm. um, so you can get some rest, and you can get some quiet, and you can uh, really get... Because it takes a few days just to like a mainspring and a clutch, you know, it's coiled so tight. You have to let it unwind and then some stuff will start to come in and, and you hit the nail on the head. We, we have a teacher leading us who is from our culture and our time and our generation. And he can speak to us in a way that we can relate. And he's very frank. He'll, he'll acknowledge he's been where we've been. Mm -hmm. So it's not about being perfect and the, and, and the teachings are never about why aren't you good enough. The teachings are more like everything's just fine if you relax a little bit. Uh, and just let yourself be open to, you know, what's possible on any given day, any given moment. Rick, you're a writer. I mean, how does, how do you, how does it, what you learn in these things, how does that relate to your work? Uh, well, I'm actually an editor. Editor. But I'm not a book editor. I'm a, actually a film editor. Right. Um, and so, well, a lot of people say to me all the time, well, how can you work in like the television industry and, and be like a Buddhist or something? Isn't that incongruous with the ego and everything? And I'm always like, what better place to work and practice? But the truth is, I think that um, I've had really wonderful jobs and worked with great people. And I think part of the secret of, you know, what we're trying to teach is how to grow good people in your life. You know, because if, 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 as a, a good Buddhist would say, the world isn't coming at you, it's coming from you, um, then, then you can, like, try to create a better world. By, and, of course, it all comes from the way you treat other people and, and how you see things and, and the kind of demeanor you bring to your job and your place. So it's great. I mean, it's good practice. And, it, and if you run into the occasional creative ego or temperament or something, then it's, it, that, what better place to, to do your work? So it's good. But everything's grist for the mill. You know? there, you, there you go. <laughs> All right. So what, is there anything that you guys like to follow up with? Like the information, where people can find uh, out more about it? We'll hit that again. All right. The website is thesummerretreat.org. I'm trying to magically write it underneath us. Thesummerretreat.org. Yeah. <laughs> um, the public teaching is Monday night, August 6th at the Governor's Academy. The retreat is August 7th through 12th at the Governor's Academy. That's a Tuesday through a Sunday. So it's, the retreat is five nights, six days. And, um, you know, it seems like a lot of time, you know, people go, oh my God, I don't know if I can get off work. Um, we say it's, you know, you spend six days being happy, you'll learn to be happy for the rest of your life. Yeah. It's, it's one week really worth taking out of your life. I mean, we're not here, we're not making any money, we're not here to sell something to you. 
we're here because this has had such an effect on our lives and we've seen it as teachers have such an incredible effect on other people that we just want to offer it. Yep. And, and we also, the retreat isn't, part of it we're, we're being silent as per Lama Marut, um, but part of it we're also having social time, people can meet, and people create, like form relationships that, that have really endured and become very profound for them. Um, people have made very deep and lasting friendships up there. And so it's a really great place to meet a lot of different people, but everyone is on the same mission. You know, we all want the same thing. Happiness. Yeah, Dalai Lama says it all the time. We're all pretty much the same. We, we want to be happy and we want to feel safe. I want to say one more thing, which is often when people hear about, you know, Buddhist retreat or something, yep. they think, you know, you're all going to be sitting there stiffly and it's all going to be very regimented. It's not like that at all. It's very warm. It's very welcoming. And at the very beginning of the retreat, Lama Root says, you're free. Today you're free. If you want to sleep in, if you want to come to the teachings, fine. If you don't, fine. If you want to sleep, if you want to write letters, if you want to read books, whatever you want to do. It creates a wonderful um, sense of it, it, the world is of your own making here. Hmm. There's no obligations. I love on the homepage of the, the of, from the summerretreat.com, there's a, like, there's a woman, I think it is, and laying back on, the, on like, on a thing and yeah, just yeah. looks so relaxing yeah. like out on our own like no one's bothering her there's no cell yeah. phone going off exactly. you know what I mean no yeah. and no one at no one to answer to exactly. and, so, and yeah. governors is awesome I mean they open this year we have I think pretty much the run of the campus and they accommodate us in such an incredible way so we're spread out over the whole this thing, beautiful campus of what I think is the nation's first boarding school um, and and they're so accommodating and it's cool and, and the most fun is you get about Three times a day, you'll get a sighting of Lama Marut flying on a golf cart. We give him to get around, <laughs> like, like it's the Indy 500. Yeah, so, nice. you know, he's he's, he's you having go. fun, you know. There you go. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for coming out, and we'll, and, uh, we'll have more information on the blog as you know as it gets nearer. More and more information will be available. Thank okay. you. And I, and I hope my Cape Band coffees mug was properly centered. <laughs> Love it. Not Love it. Rick. <laughs> Rick. Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Daughter, great. But if we did, that's what I did. There you go. Take care, guys. Thanks.